All right, let's get this show on the road. Hello, and welcome to Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. My name is Brendan. Somebody please tell me if my audio seems out of sync. I just got a new camera. It's 4K. It's kind of amazing. I really, really like the color definition on it. My face looks super red right now. <laughs> um, but the room is just not blown out, and I love it. <laughs> That being said, I probably could get a little more light on my face. Uh, let's make that happen. I'll be real quick. What? Entirely what? Entirely out of sync? Okay. I can fix that, I think. There was a way I fixed this before. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> oh man, there was a way to do this. How did I do it last time? Um. There was a way to do this. How? Wait, did that fix it? Did that fix it? Maybe? Oh, sure, no problem. I'd be happy to discuss that stuff with you. I just need to figure out this thing first. <laughs> What are we fixing? We are trying to fix the audio, uh, the sync issue with the audio being out of sync. It's better? Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Give me a sec. Because I remember having this problem before when I first started streaming uh, with the Blue Yeti. And uh, and I fixed it then. So I just need to figure out how to fix it now. But the problem is it's been so long since I fixed it that I have no I, I have no recollection how I fixed it. How about now? We're doing better? I think it seems better. Wait. Uh, 
the same. <sighs> um. No, no, no. I 100% think it's me. Uh, mostly because I can kind of see it on my preview screen. Can you uh, can you confirm, Maffinator, that it is a problem on my end? <laughs> Cause like I can do things like sync offset and stuff, but I just, I don't necessarily want to play around with that a ton if I don't have to. There was a way I did it before and it was really easy. There's a slight delay. Yeah, I figured there was. It's because the new camera is a lot higher definition. So it's, I feel like it's a little laggier in terms of its output, which makes sense. I think that makes perfect sense. So then let's go sync offset. I need a stopwatch with my phone. There's my phone. All right, cool. Finch is sending me emails about read write stuff. We're all excited. Yeah, the color is way better. I'm gonna have to adjust some of my face a bit and get some more light on my face. <laughs> Cause it's way better. Okay, so let's try this experiment. Um, Yeah, we're talking like maybe 500 milliseconds at most. How's it now? Better? Worse? Better? Worse? If, if y'all don't know what we've been up to, um, sorry for delays, by the way, I didn't really get a chance to live test this because of work and, uh, the delivery delayed due to weather and by weather, they mean they sent it from the city I was in to, the city, to a city I wasn't in only to send it back to the city I was in despite sending it around the city three times and not to the place where I am, um, because it was delayed due to weather. <laughs> oh, six M. That's good. I'm excited. D 
the sync is the same. Huh. No, it's because it's because they messed up and sent it to a whole other city. <laughs> they sent it to Montreal. It was in Ottawa. They sent it to Gloucester, which is a suburb of Ottawa, sent it back to Ottawa, and then sent it to Montreal. For no apparent reason that I can tell. <laughs> Right, uh, so what I was talking about. Yeah, uh, tomorrow will be the next episode of the Rewrite Book Club. Uh, second episode, we're going to be finishing The Last Wish by Andre Sapkowski. Yeah, they sent it to another province. <laughs> but I mean, Montreal's only three hours away, so it's not like they sent it that far out of the way, but they sent it into another province, yes. I mean, I literally live on the border of Quebec, right? Like... I drive 30 minutes and I'm in Quebec. Like half like half of what we consider the city of Ottawa is technically in Quebec. <laughs> well, maybe not half, like a quarter. It's funny that you say that because Ontario is actually a triangle, so you can live on three different sides and be on the other side of a province. <laughs> How's the audio sync, guys? Let me know. So yeah, uh, tomorrow is the next episode of the Read Write Book Club. We're really excited. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, you should check out my Twitter, at Freak Lab Mishap. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not real Ottawa. It's still part of the city, bro. <laughs> Technically speaking. Um and uh Yeah, you should check out my Twitter for some cool stuff that we were doing last night that we're really excited about. It's funny that you say that, Robin, because, I mean, Ottawa is the federal government, so, you know, kind of all of Canada cares about what happens in Ottawa. <laughs> did I do this right? I feel like I did this right. That's an interesting question, actually. Wait a second. Match output IPS, FPS. So I'm just going to try a quick experiment here. And this might go horribly, horribly wrong. And if it's so, 
I apologize, but we're going to try this. How about now? Is the sink better? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> it's so sad. I'm gonna fix my I'm gonna fix my light real quick and and then it will That's better. My face looks less pink. I'm gonna have to play around with the lights a little bit more. But I like it. The color definition is so much better. I had to clean my desk though. <laughs> Which is not unfortunate because it probably needed to be done, but still. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> hey, if my sound's not working, I gotta at least look good. Huh. All right. Uh. Oh, that's because I put the delay offset on the wrong microphone. Okay. That makes so much more sense. How about now? Is it working now? Or should I put it on the camera? I should put it on the camera. That's what I should do. I should put the sync offset on the camera. How about now? Are we doing good? I think it's better. I think it fixed it. Is that better? Like seriously? What? What do we oh my what do we oh my god? Yeah, it's a lot better. So we're good now. Now that I've spent 25 minutes trying to fix this. <laughs> I remember it being easier before. I'm not sure why.
Yeah. Okay, well, as long as it's better, as long as it's bearable, I'll have to play around with it a little bit more and see if I can get it down to an exact number. But that should be pretty easy with the VOD because I'll use the... Uh, I can play around with, like, Media Player Classics sync controls and I can get it much, much closer. Actually, I could probably do it in Premiere Pro when I'm doing my edits. That'd be a lot easier. Yeah, I'll do that. And then I'll get it down to a very exact number, so it's it's way closer. So yeah. Um, oh man, what were we gonna do today? Oh right. <laughs> uh, so Robin has some discussion questions, which I'm totally willing to entertain if we want to talk about them. Other than that, I was going to uh, start working on a first draft of the Old Ruins short story. Is this a stream about streaming? I wish it was a stream about streaming. I saw, oh man, I saw a guy on Twitch Creative making Gundam models the other day, and I so want to do it. <laughs> but this really should be writing time. <laughs> like, I, re I really want to do it. I have some models in the cupboard. We could, we could do it. I got camera setups. We can we can do it. <laughs> I mean, I have a third camera that's on a little tripod. We can definitely do it. <laughs> but that actually might be a fun thing I do later on this week, just for fun. Just for funsies. Hey, Sim Lover, how goes it? I haven't seen you in a while. Okay, so I created a um, new blank document. I have open on the other screen my stuff from last episode so I'm gonna copy that across so I have it in here cool we're gonna open up a second window I want this one to be this we'll pop all this up This to be this. <laughs> Don't fight now, kitties. Don't fight. Yeah, just looking at it here as I close out windows. That it's probably that I need to fix drivers for the Logitech camera. <laughs> um, that very much could be it. So I'm gonna open up a Logitech window to remind myself that I need to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do it right now because that would be a bad idea. But I will download the drivers and install them later. It's always my fault. You should know that by now.
Ooh. Apparently I can set it up for facial recognition. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> All right. Scenes, 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 scenes. Should blow this up, shouldn't I? Probably can't read it. There we go. Why do I have such a thing for montage sequences? It's weird. Okay. Yeah, that's true. I do have a thing for screenwriting. <laughs> that is, that is a thing that I have a thing for. Huh. Okay, so yeah, I, I started to break this up. Yeah, I got all of that stuff in there. The settings fine, I know all that stuff. We got our list of names, that'll be useful later. Cool, all right, shrink this back down and then go scene. Stretch. Oh. It's always important to stretch when you stand at a computer. Instagram Johnson is what a girl called my junk once. <sighs> Sam, 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 Sam. I, f I feel like there's a, a much funnier uh, joke that we can make <laughs> there.
<laughs> Fair enough. So, um, yeah, me and Sam are, uh, me and Sam, AKA MC Pepper Pockets, my co-host for the Rewrite Book Club, uh, are going to an escape room tonight, which will be the first time I've done anything like that. Well, I was making the joke to the, to the people we we're going with yesterday, you know, I've, I've played like a ton of escape room games. Does, does that make me good at this? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I do kind of do puzzles. Like, that's kind of my thing. I mean, you can you can literally see four, like, crossword and Sudoku books there. <laughs> They're, like, sitting right there. And it's cool because we're going to the Diefen Bunker, which I've also never been to, but it's kind of a cool historical thing here in Ottawa. That being the bunker that Prime Minister Diefenbaker made during the Cold War in case of a nuclear attack. At least I thought that's what it was for. Sam, enlighten us. Enlighten us about the history of the Diefenbunker. It's like a big hole or something. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, very, very cool. Do you guys want to see the video, like some of the stuff we were doing last night? Cause I can show some stuff. I don't mind. We can make that happen. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, I knew all that about the deep and bunker. Yep, and it's real close to my house. Because I live in the middle of nowhere. You yeah, hadn't noticed. <laughs> it's 
So yeah, yeah. you guys want to see videos? I can show videos. I got videos. Yeah. I'm gonna double check, make sure my spelling is set to the right. Um, nope. There we go. Not that it super matters, but you know. All right, what time is it? Ten two already. Jesus.
So I'm just trying to set the scene here. I'm just trying to um, kind of establish a little bit about the world that our character is in. Um, yeah. Yeah, just trying to, you know, get us right into the action without having to, like, weigh us down with too many details. <laughs> yeah. I don't have a shout out command for that, but um Sam's talking about Ellen Daly who uh is recorded some stuff for us last night <clears throat> with our good friend Stefan. Uh, who is an awesome musician. Uh, if, if you've been here around here for a while uh, and heard me play or talk about Onion Face or Trunk, uh, those kinds of bands, uh, those, are step, those are bands that Steph's in. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. I've seen Onion Face play a bunch of times. They're really, really awesome. Yeah, I'm a big fan. He's a great musician. He's working on the theme song for our podcast, the Read Write Podcast. It's going to be so unreal. Like, so unreal. Don't worry too much about your phrasing, B-Row. Just put words down on the page. That's what you're here for. Putting words in an order that makes sense. Am I really quiet? 
Or are you talking about the chat? Also, I'm really glad to see you, Erica. Thanks for coming. <laughs> also, I know it's only because Stevie's not not at home today. Oh, yeah, that happens. That that definitely happens. <laughs> <laughs> uh that's fair. Uh that that is fair. Yeah, I'm definitely a person who gets lost in thought sometimes. Um it's why I don't listen to music. Uh cuz if I got if I was listening to music, I wouldn't be able to concentrate on chat and the music and the writing. It would just it would all it would all blend. Oh, really? Yeah, no. Remember we tried that and it and it didn't work. I can't do it. I don't want to. Yeah, um I personally don't super like white background with black text though. It's one of those things that's really weird. I've tried a lot of different things. I haven't quite come up with something I think really works well for everyone. I was worried about the the white being too bright, you know? But hey, you're the graphic designer, Erica. You turn me. Yeah, I've considered that, but then I don't like. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I like then I feel like I'm left out. <laughs> in a way, I mean theoretically, I could turn on music and then just turn off my. Oh yeah, I can boost point size. That's for sure. How big do you want it? But then I just worry about being too big. <laughs> I wish there was a 250, that'd be nice. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just don't have a lot of options because that's 200 and then the other one's 300. There's not like a 250. So this is a program called Scribner. Uh, it's kind of designed specifically for writers. Um, it does a lot of really, really cool things when it comes to software. Um, sorry, 
I'm looking at a thing. <laughs> yeah, no, I I appreciate that, Erica. It's I don't get a ton of feedback, uh, or as much feedback I was like, and I appreciate you weighing in for sure. Uh, Cause there's all those changes that we can make to be better streamers. Like that's, there's never a perfect solution to anything. Um, so yeah, this is Scrivener. And what it does is it allows me to have a bunch of different documents within a bigger project file, and then I can compile them in different ways. Uh, so what that means is that I can like type something out in courier and then compile it in times new Roman with specific formatting settings without having to go and change all the formatting myself, for example. Or I can take specific, like I can compile a single chapter or I can compile um, the entire text. Um, I can export specific scenes and merge them together. Like there's lots of stuff I can do with that. Um, a lot of the good points about this software is that it allows me to use metadata. So for example, um, if I go to my title page here and I'll, I'll bump it up for you so you can see, like there's nothing here. This is all populated through metadata, so I don't have to worry about it. For example, if I want to change my product title, I can change it once inside the metadata and it changes everywhere in the document, including the headers and footers. Uh, when I write comic books, it, it'll auto compile page numbers and panel numbers for me. So I don't, again, if I move pages around, I don't have to worry about doing that manually. Uh, so it's really cool software. It's not too expensive. I think it runs for about $75 US. Um, I like it a lot. I use it a ton. For example, uh, for the stream, I have a project file that's specifically all of like the exercises that I do. So if I'm doing like a one-off or like a flax fishing thing, I just have, I just create a new folder in that and then I just export that folder and it's all together in one thing. So I don't have to have 18 separate files, one for each episode or anything like that. It's very, it's very useful. Oh, cool. That makes sense. I was pretty sure they've had deals on it. I've owned it for years though. So like, that's not a super big problem for me. What was I going to say? Oh, Erica, what do you think about courier as a font? I'm curious. Cause I know a lot of people hate courier, but as a screenwriter, I've kind of really gotten used to it and I much prefer it, but that's me for sure. <laughs> Freaking history. Whatever. That being said, I use Courier Prime. Well, I, I mean, I specifically use Courier Prime, which is an upgrade of Courier. I find it a lot more readable. It's nicer. Bam. Look at that. Look at me with all my custom commands so I don't have to t type things. <laughs> Well, so the thing about it is, is I much, I like monospace fonts uh, rather than like, what are they called? Justified fonts? Is that what they're called? I just like, it's so much easier when each line is the same length. Or like close anyway. Probably something about kerning. No, it's not about kerning.
Evening. Dale, what's going on? Where's I going with this? Right, he's hiding in the, the crevice. Where do I want to go from here? Whoops, forgot to silence that. Try to wedge himself further into the crevice. Probably be the mutant's footsteps. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, um, I've been going for about an hour, so I'm gonna take a 10 minute break. <laughs> Crap, <laughs> you're funny. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a 10 minute break uh, and then I'll be back and we're gonna continue. I don't know. That's all I got. <laughs> so I will see you all in 10 minutes.